what's up guys yo we're about to check out this um this f1 man oh right right here let's see how this is i love stadia um free days man oh cool so now it just it comes up right here wow that's pretty awesome all right let's do it see what this is all about I don't even know what that guidelines are. X Uno and Gmail, what's good, man? <laughs> All right. Let me see how this is sounding on our YouTube. I'm just letting this roll. I don't know if like a cutscene. I guess I'll let it play out. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I let it. I guess it's like a cutscene or something. any button let's see I'm not sure who those people are Confirm. I wonder if, is there someone that like puts decline on this <laughs> who declines those stuff Black folks? Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be deep. This isn't our uh, Baldur's Gate. got Jamaican here? Oh, let's go. First name. How do you do the other thing? Rick. Thompson, baby. Let's go. Enter initials. All three letters. your name what do you mean oh I guess they talk out maybe they got Rick in here. they gotta have Rick come on that's pretty what really they don't have Rick oh strong it's too strong driver number ooh set we're seven
Welcome to my team. Here, you'll experience the world of Formula One not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's choose your character. Great, now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start okay. with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? Okay, um... What name? Rage. Pick our name. Nice. Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. <laughs> income, um, drugs. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal that they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Okay. I like the name Equinox. Right? Distort. I like uh, I Equinox. Fantastic. Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So, let's sign a power unit supplier now. What? We need both performance and durability from our power unit, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. Ooh, how much money do I have? We almost have all the key partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough a claim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more a claim they'll earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities like arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Okay. I heard lap times, and this dude is... Uh, I saw somebody with pay 75. Or oh, Mick Schumacher, okay. He's gotta be Schumacher. Oh, this dude is killing it. 79 pace. That's what I need, lap times. Let's go, um... <laughs> Looks like we wow. can't afford this power unit supplier and team. Let's that's go back into one of those and sign someone cheaper. Or try and find a sponsor who pays more up front to offset the cost. Power unit supplier cost? Sorry boss. The Obviously the better the performance and durability, down. the better. But be careful about spending. Huh. Looks like we can't afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Let's go back into one of those and sign someone cheaper. Or I like Ferrari, but let's just here are bring the drivers the interested in joining our team. Yeah, Look at their stats. Take and pick someone you think. Can... Huh. Looks like we can't afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Let's go back into one of those and sign someone cheaper. Or try. Oh, this is not gonna work. Huh. Looks like we can't afford this. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Wow. Some sponsors much offer a larger up? signing oh, bonus up 42? front. Some offer more weekly income. The better we perform, the more wow. our level will go up as the team gains more acclaim. Looks like we can afford this power. Let's select or edit delivery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry. We can edit our look at any time from HQ. This is, um, this is lit right here. It's dope. That's it. Now we need a badge for our team branding. Select an existing badge, edit it, or create one from scratch.
last but not least. Color. Okay. This I don't want. I don't want that. I don't want that. No, it's nice. Right, green, green next time. Yeah, this is different. This, yeah, we're just wing it, baby. Let's go. Great. That's everything we need. You can go... this first rate. I know it, it took a little setup, but um, meet the press. I ain't talking to no press. Oh, okay. Oh, look at this man with the with the uh, okay. Hands We're up. live in five. That's not my play, four, right? Three. Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One, too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham Hill, and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so, too, is its driver and owner. 
Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Yeah, I like it, man. Let's do this. Every team need two drivers. But what was it that drew you to your teammates? Yeah. Yeah. Sound good enough. No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? Just be general as possible. How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? The mm -hmm. other teams now have years of experience, both on and off the track. Yeah, fuel. Overtaking is a key part of this sport. And finally, which of your new departments are you most proud of? Aerodynamics, baby. Let's go. Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. All right. Let's do it. Okay, great. Thank you. That's a wrap. Get out of here. Connections, right? Yeah. Great interview, boss. You nailed exactly what the team's been working on. When you've got time, check the R&D tree to see our current progress and where we think there's room for more. And while you're at it, why not take a stroll around HQ and check on how the team's doing? This is where you can view our current facilities Very and the sure. effects they're having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. What? All right, how do we get to a race? Our new parts have been completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race week. Okay. Let's go. So, it's nice. It's got a lot of layers to it, man. I'm on stadium. I know, I know games like this, man. You can't have an average PC. This thing runs great on here, man. Okay, let's go. You kids on the block. Okay, that's advancing. Hey, boss. I think we could better manage our time by organizing some team activities. Head to the activity screen to see what we have available. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent, and that's where these activities come in. Oh, so you can manage kind of everyone's time as efficiently out. as possible to maximize the team's performance. Get the race, man. Mailbox, I got any mail. All right. Um, activities. I'm trying to autofill. I don't know why I want autofill. I get the, the races, that's the thing. Okay, let's. 
So we give you cash. Okay, we've had the new parts come through from the fabrication process. Okay. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. I guess you just formulate the, uh, the seating, I guess. I guess it's R&D or something. Not R&D, but just RNG, I mean. All right, let's, let's go to a race. Definitely isn't the crew, too. I'll tell you that. You know, but it's still not too hard, though. It's still like, you know, it's not that crazy, but it's not the crew too, for sure. And that's just, that's like very simulation like. Morning boss, Jeff here. Thanks again for bringing me on board. You found a lot of talented people for this team. I can't wait to see what we can accomplish. Our journey to the Constructors Championship starts here today, and the car is ready to head out whenever you are. Super sharp. This is sharp, man. In the unforgiving world of Formula One, free practice sessions are a vital part of any Grand Prix weekend. Do a bit like a rubber out on track. Try to take it easy for a couple of laps.
want to remind you to keep an eye on your tyre temperatures, which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. We monitor carcass temperature and surface temperature, and you'll get the best performance when they're both inside a normal operating window. Surface temps tend to fluctuate faster, so try a few laps with the data open and get a feel for how to control them. four laps of fuel remaining. Replacing if it takes too much damage. Okay, you have wing damage. This will be a major performance impact unless you box for a new one.
currently the fastest lap is a 1 minute 32.8. This lap at this point in time is a 132.8. Pitting this lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. Team for repairs, box, box, box.
Yo, that was just a quick first impression, bro. If you enter sim sim racing. Oh, Dark Bite, I see what you sent me. I already. Yo, I, I don't want to. Car repairs have set us advocators. back a little. But I'm telling you. So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 47.6. A lot of people's not really down with the platform like that. I'm just. I, I'm not going to say no more. I don't want to say I'm talking. I'm talking. Hey, Nicola, what's up, brother? Do you have black Mercedes? No? I don't think I'm messing with that. I got, um, I don't know if I can show you. Not the team. I had to cheap out, man. So, we'd I'm like to run the acclimatization Honda. program if you have a chance before qualifying. It'll give us a good indication of our relative pace and consistency. If you want to know specific information or make certain changes this, this, to the car during a pit stop. some minor damage. Yes, legit. I think it's a perfect game. For, um, perfect game for um showcase stadia. Because if they could get that crowd, the um I would say the the casual not I would say the hardcore niche crowd. I'm not talking a Call of Duty people that's crazy about the latest is just this is a perfect like if you can get people that play this game to be like like what why am i buying a crazy computer because people like this are probably interested in other things in life you know but this is probably like their little hobby you just jump on stadia nine bucks a month or just buy the game because there's people that only play one game there's people that play truck on um, like trucking simulator that's it and they buy a pc for it and everything but if you can get that crowd, like, hey, you got decent internet, do this. Huh? Oh, the Stig. <laughs> I wish, I wish I was moving like Stig. I watched that show, bro. Top, Top Gear. I love that show. I used to watch it all the time. With Clarkson and uh, with the other dudes. I love supercars, man. So, yeah, I always watch them. Yo, but I'm gonna hit you up, Dark Bread, about that um the podcast. You got a camera though? What time is it for you right now though? Cause I would I would probably do it like 9 p.m. Eastern, like when I I don't have distractions. I don't know what time that is for you though. But if not, I mean, it's 
talk, but I, I just, I definitely want to do a, um, a CD, like a conversation one day. I'm definitely trying to do something like that. Maybe have some, like, it's 12 p.m. What? Oh, so, so 9, 9 p.m. for me is what for you? So that's like 3, 3, 4 o'clock. Oh, you're good. Okay. I have someone else I'm trying to get on. I'm, I'm going to check my messages. <laughs> you wrote that. I do his on the weekend. The weekend is good too. You can get like crazy good. What? Yo, that's nuts. I've seen this man is like red. He just killed this dude. Like, wow. Decent. This game is decent. Dave Wind Windnall, thanks for the new subscribe, man. Appreciate that, brother. Definitely, I got a lot of content, man. Check it out. Okay. Yeah, this thing is deep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This and Sekiro, once you get into it. Yeah, welcome, Dave. Yo, what's up with, um... Well, we gotta... I'll, I'll hit you up in the Discord, because I fought that lady today, that witch. Or the butterfly lady. Yeah, I killed her. I'm <laughs> thinking it was over. This lady came back to life, bro. I just... She's not that hard though, so I probably met, I probably go back to it. I'm just was I just didn't expect it. <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> yeah, she she's a problem. Like I can beat her. I beat her once and then she's coming back with other stuff. Like that's that's not nice. But yeah, I'ma jump off this man. But if anything, I come back and do the, um, I probably try the interview. Thing. At least, at least what I'll do, I'll send you the link, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to see how that sets up. 
because I, I pay for this thing every month, so I get a lot of features. I'm definitely trying to do the interview thing. Yeah, you can use phone, you can use anything. If you want to do the face, or I'm not sure if you can use the icon. I'm not sure. If you can put like a placeholder, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, man, get this popping. Alright, guys, so what's this game called? Um, this thing is pretty dope, man. It's definitely pretty nice. If you're interested in the F1 stuff, definitely try it out, man. It gets my approval. Alright, guys, I'll see you. Catch me in the cloud. Thank mm -hmm. you.